Hi guys, how are you doing? Kizzle Kicks here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look in a little bit more detail at the Scout Elite Sniper Rifle here in Battlefield Hardline. Now I know on the web you can get loads and loads of stats and information about these guns and I know there are also a load of other video reviews out there so I don't want to bore you with too much detail. We're going to be talking about the things that you really feel making a difference when you are using the gun in this game. Now the first thing we're going to be talking about is the Scout Elite's rate of fire. It has a rate of fire of 85 rounds per minute, making it the fastest bolt action sniper in Battlefield Hardline. That obviously means being 85 rounds per minute, you can shoot this beast more than once per second. Next we're going to talk about the muzzle velocity, and again, the Scout Elite comes top of the class. 640 meters per second, making it the best sniper to use if you want to be hitting those moving enemy targets. Now of course the Scout Elite can't be the best for everything. We're going to talk about max damage, the Scout Elite is 75, far lower really than the other bolt action sniper rivals in this game, they all have 100 max damage each. So if you're using it in close combat it is never ever going to get you, unless you get a headshot or the enemy is already injured, it's never going to get you that one shot kill that you probably need if you're being ambushed by enemies when you're, you're in a good sniper spot. However, if you are close to enemies and you're, you're looking to snipe them, you're probably not using the professional class as it's intended. Do not let the low max damage put you off using the Scout Elite though. Yes, the other rifles may have a damage of 100. They are going to get you the one-shot kill in close combat. However, they do see damage drop off at 12.5 meters. So unless you are within that distance of an enemy, they're not going to get you that one-shot kill either. So that's probably the only negative of the Scout Elite. I've been using it for a while and I really, really enjoy using this gun. Also, the magazine size you can see is 11. That again is higher than any other bolt action sniper on the hard line. The others have six, six bullets per magazine, so you're going to be reloading this bad boy less, which is good. Again, it helps with the higher rate of fire, and if you're going to need to be hitting multiple enemies from distance, this is the way to go. So speaking of close quarter combat, the Scout Elite does have one thing in its favour, and that is that it has the lowest recoil when firing from the hip. So when you're looking to get, well, when you're panicking basically, and you're looking to get a no scope kill on those enemies, the Scout Elite is going to give you the highest chance of doing that. Here's one. Now from watching and reading some of the other reviews that gamers have done on the Scout Elite, there seems to be a very mixed opinion when it comes to getting kills at long distance with the Scout Elite. Now statistically speaking, yes the Scout Elite does have the highest bullet drop of all the bolt action snipers. However, on the flip side of that, as we mentioned earlier, it has the highest muzzle velocity. That's going to help to compensate for this as your bullets are going to have less travel time to hit those long distance targets. Personally, I don't mind having a higher bullet drop if the muzzle velocity is there, because basically it takes a lot of the guesswork out when you're aiming above the enemy's head, you do not need to aim too high because you know your bullet is traveling at such a high speed it's going to make very little difference and the bullet drop is not really going to have a chance to come into play. Another statistic that's going to help the Scout Elite fight its case when it comes to long distance shooting is the fact that it has the longest firing range of all the bolt action snipers. A distance of 3,200 meters far greater than the AWM which is in second place with a distance of 2,750 meters. So yes, a significant difference, meaning for me this is the best sniper to use if you're looking to get those long range headshots. Another advantage of the Scout Elite, although this is not specific in terms of, of the weapon itself, it's just more about how you can use it. Of course it can be used for both factions, cops and thieves, doesn't matter what team you're on, you are going to be able to use the Scout Elite without getting that weapons license. Of course, meaning if you become a perfectionist with it, you're going to be able to use it all the time. So just a very quick summary from me then, the high muzzle velocity, the high rate of fire, the high magazine size, those are going to make the Scout Elite probably, in my opinion, the best all-round sniper rifle to be using. Of course, the other guns are going to be better at some other things, such as the max damage. You're going to get the one-shot body kills with the others. However, like I said, if you're fighting and using a sniper rifle up close, you're probably not playing the class as it should be played. So, in my opinion then, Scout Elite, best all-round sniper on the game. Become a perfectionist with it, learn from it, be the best with it, and you're going to be effective every single game. Now, that's going to be all from me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more Battlefield content. Hopefully, we'll have some more weapon reviews coming soon. Keeping them simple. Also, follow me on Twitch. We do stream a lot of Battlefield. We stream almost every day. So, if you enjoy a good stream, make sure you come and check it out. But that's all from me. Signing off. Peace out, guys.
right here. I got one. Move. Hey, over the pool. I need backup. Over here! Look out, strip mine! 